hello guys welcome to the channel i hope you all are fine and doing great today we are going to discuss this array partition problem of gfg so guys let's move on to the problem so guys here we are given an array with n integers in it means the size of the array is n we have to uh, we have to make the partition of this array uh, and we have to find out whether it is possible to partition the array with following three rows means each element should be belong to only one partition means if we once divide if we once uh, allot a partition to a particular ith element then we cannot use this element afterward in next partitions okay now uh, the each partition the minimum number of element each partition should have is at least k means if this is a partition then its length should be at least k it can be more but at least k should be okay and now between any two number between a partition the maximum sum can be m like this is number minimum number of the partition is a maximum is b so b minus a b minus a should be less than is equal to m means the maximum difference between highest and minimum number is m can be m okay it it can be less than m as well so guys here you can see we are given this array of size 5 we have to divide in uh, in a partition so that at least two element will, will come in each partition and the maximum difference can be up to three now we can divide it in two partition eight nine and one two three okay so now so now guys how we will do it so we are solving it here there can be many method of solving it in the array it is given to solve by dp and segmentary but i don't think we use dp in it uh, if we use dp then we have to implement segmentary as well but we can only so we can solve it using recursion as well so guys let's see how we will do it so i just copy paste the first of all the code in the whiteboard so that it is helpful for us to understand okay guys this is our n n m and z okay This is fine. So this is our array. So guys, first of all, because we need, because we know in each partition, the uh, the one thing I need is maximum and minimum element. The minimum and maximum element. So what if I sort the array? If I sort the array, okay. So first of all, what I will do? I will sort the array. So my array will look like one, two, three, eight, nine. Okay, guys. Then what I will do? This is my sorted array. Okay, guys. Now, guys, what I will do? I will call a recursive. I will call a recursive function. I will call a recursive function solve with current starting index of my partition means the index where my new partition will start zero. Then uh, index n means the size of my a, n k and m, n k m and array a okay these are the i think these five one two three yes these five i am passing now what it will do from a starting index in a starting case it is is equal to zero now from zero it will it will what it will do from a starting index zero to ending index what can be the ending index the minimum ending index should be at least k element it should go so it should be uh, i will make it current current means the current index so it is start from uh, starting index current to end index and index current plus k minus 1 suppose if my current index is equal to 2 and k is equal to 2 k is equal to 2 as well then the minimum ending index of my array can be uh, 2 plus 2 minus 1 that is 2 plus 2 4 that is 3 now between index uh, with index 2 to 3 how many element we have we have at least uh, we have only k element one of uh, element at index 2 then of element at index 3 okay so at least uh, we will start from this base condition Mean means at least k element i try to plot in my in my partition if possible else well i will move further okay guys so what i am doing here what i am doing here i will call a for loop from uh, this end means the 
minimum and the minimum and for a partition like i is equal to minimum and i will mark it ma to less than n means the less than of size i will check if if the sum if the difference of my current element in my ith element is my because ith element is the maximum element because i sort the array and i am increasing it and the current element is the starting of my partition so it is the minimum element because the array sorted is less than or is equal to m m then i will continue i will continue to do some operation else while if it is if it is greater than m means this cannot be a possible partition i will return false i will return false means from this particular index i cannot uh, i cannot make uh, a partition okay guys but now if it is less than is equal to m then what we will call we will call a solve function again now what is the argument argument is i plus 1 and all other argument remains same now what is i plus 1 i plus 1 means i plus 1 means from this current to this i i can be i can be uh, any integer between minimum and minimum and to size of the array less than 1 like from curve plus k minus 1 to n okay means from from current to ith number from current to ith number i have make a partition that satisfy my that satisfy my basic condition that is to, uh, the difference between any two pairs is less than is equal to n okay it also satisfy the second condition then it should contain at least k element because i am starting my index of at least k element okay here you can see i am starting my index from 2 to 3 means at least k element so that it will contain now and the third condition is as each element block uh, belong to one partition this is also satisfied i am passing i plus 1 means now try to make a partition from next index from next index okay and if if there is possible a partition with with next index then we will return true and we know this partition is satisfied so we will return true we will return true else while what we will do i will increase my i increase my i increase my i and check if my current and i difference less than is equal to m then again call function for i plus one means now my i is changed so guys how i am doing this how i am solving this like one two three eight nine uh, like n is equal to five and two three I'm just solving with the example so that it will be more clear to you. M is equal to 3 and my arrays look like 1, 2, 3, 8, 9. Okay, guys, now I see. Yes, brown color is okay. Now I will start from solve, solve 0 to 0 to n. Okay, and the arrays part now from 0 to n. My i will change the color for each function call now i will run a loop from i is equal to i is equal to 0 plus k minus 1 0 is my current element it is my current element 0 0 0 plus 2 minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 that is 1 so my minimum ith index should be 0 i uh, should be 1 if i start a partition from 0 so that it is contain 0 and 1 minimum 2 element that is my k okay guys now from i is equal to 0 to I will run a loop till i less than or uh, i less than size size is 5 means i less than 5 now and i will increment i accordingly now when i is equal to 1 when i is equal to 1 i will check whether a1 this is 1 this is 0 this is 2 this is 3 this is our indexing now 1 minus 0 less than is equal to m yes so i will try for solve i plus 1 i plus 1 means 1 plus 1 that is 2 all other uh, argument are same now we are in this 2 pole we are in this 2 pole now we will make a call from i is equal to now my current is 2 so 2 plus k 2 plus k that is 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 minus 1 that is 3 so i should be 3 to i less than 5 i less than 5 now when i is equal to 3 now i is equal to 3 now for i is equal to 3 uh, 0 1 uh, okay i is equal to 3 so 3 minus current current is 2 current is 2 here so 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 which is greater than my m 
okay then i will return zero means it is not possible so i will return zero to it zero to it okay so this call satisfy means from one this partition can be possible from one this partition can be possible but from this index we cannot make up to make a partition which contain k element okay now i will update my i to 2 now my first partition is this now 3 minus current that is 0 yes partition possible i will call solve function to 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 that is 3 all other argument are same now i will call a 4 i is equal to current plus k minus 1 current is 3 plus 2 5 minus 1 that is 4 so my minimum i is 4 and i should be less than i less than 5 so when i is equal to 4 equal to 4 4 9 minus 8 is equal to 1 which is less than is equal to m so i will call a function solve with 4 plus 1 that is 5 all other are same all other are same then in my solve in my solve i write i write some condition what are those condition what are those condition that i will write two condition here okay now if my current is greater than or is equal to n is greater than or equal to n means i have i am at the ending of my array return 1 means i have completely make a partition of my of my initial array now i am at ending so just return 0 and just return 1 1 means true means partition can be possible just return 1 just return 1 now one more condition if the number of element if from my current index current index the number of element left in my array the number of element left in my array is less than k means i cannot get k element return zero means i don't have enough number of element okay guys so this is how we will approach it and once we go true from here so when we go we go true from here because current became greater than is equal to n so we will return one so it will this function will return one to this means this can from three we can make a partition so this will return this will return one to it means from index two uh, till index two we can make a make a single partition then from two plus one that is from three from three we can make other partition so this will return this will return true to our base case this will return true or one to our base case means from zero we can make partition so at last we will just return zero okay guys so this is how we will solve the problem and suppose if there is no nine there is no nine so when we are coming three we will check this condition whether my element are less than or k less than k or not yes i will found yes i have only one element that is less than k i will return zero from here zero from here it will check for other element now for now from eight we cannot take it why because eight and one cannot be single partition so i will return zero from it means i try all the possible from from minimum from minimum n to n to n i try all the possible combinations all the possible partition but i cannot make one so i will return zero to my base case okay if there is no nine but if they if it is nine here so i will return one okay guys so this is how we will approach it so now let's think about it so first of all now let's see the code so first of all we have to sort the array then we have to return we have to return all the like current index initially it is 0 now nkm and my vector 8 now all the current index then nkm and vector 8 so if my current is greater than is equal to n we will return 1 else while if the number of remaining element like n minus cur minus suppose if my, i have n is equal to n is equal to 4 k is equal to 2 and suppose cur is equal to 3 cur is equal to 3 then but i am right if my n minus cur that is 4 minus 3 that is 1 less than 2 yes means i have only i have only this element so n minus cur represent me the number of element left number of element left in my uh, the number of element left in my array from current index from current to n minus 1 how many element we have okay this is this is like uh, if uh, i have my current is 3 and my total element is 4 then only one element i have remaining why because the last index uh, the index of my last element will be n minus 1 that is that is 3 and it is my current so means i have i am at the last index 
okay guys this is how we will approach it means n minus per means the remaining element from current is less than k i will return zero means partition cannot be possible now from i is equal to current plus k minus 1 means minimum ending index as uh, minimum ending partition that will contain at uh, that will contain only k element to i less than n means a partition that contain up to n element mean means extra element okay till n i will increase k plus 1 s if at any point my ai minus a curve uh, have difference greater than m i will return 0 i will return 0 else while i will call solve function means try to make a partition from index i plus 1 and if it is possible means if it is written 1 then you will also return 1 means at any condition if we if we are at the end of the array and partition can be possible return 1 else while if you come out of the loop and no partition is followed because if any partition is is can be made then we just return 1 from here means we are come out of the loop but no partition is cannot be possible so we will just return 0 at the end so I am now compiling it You can see correct output. Now I try to submit it. Uh, so guys, you can see all the 1115 test cases pass out. So I hope you understand this. Um, this is a recursive approach. You can also solve it by DP and segmentary, but that's a more complex approach. Uh, this recursive, you can easily solve this. So I hope you understand this. But if still you have any doubt, then just comment out. I will try my best to explain you. Meanwhile, you can subscribe the channel, like the video and check out my channel for more these type of videos. And uh, thank you for watching this guys. Stay tuned.